All right, guys, we got a good one here, maybe. Utah Jazz on the road, taking on the New York Knicks. Utah is opened up at a minus 7.5 to those New York Knickerbockers. And, um, hey, look, New York, they've pulled off a pretty good win yesterday, or not yesterday, but two days ago, versus the Houston Rockets, where they beat them outright. Not only did they cover the spread, but, man, they actually played very well. They were banging threes everywhere so of course if you can hit your threes you've got a great chance utah two game winning streak man i don't know um i mean if new york it looks like they play pretty inspired versus the rockets but i also kind of feel like they kind of feel like you know just things didn't go their way in that in that matchup maybe even the rockets took them a little lightly plus new york was hitting their shots but let me yep. tell you something. New York is one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the league, so don't sleep on that. And, of course, when you play a team like the Rockets where rebounding is not important to them, you know, I can see how, you know, New York might have pulled the upset off. But uh, here we got Utah, pretty damn good team. Uh, they need they need this win. What do you think? Do you think they cover here? Well, this is definitely a game they need to win. I agree. Um, and this is the type of you know team that might even be able to stifle New York a little bit on the defensive end. Uh, you're right. I mean, if they're hitting those threes at a you know ungodly amount, then then yeah, sure the game can stay tight. But uh, it's not really who the Knicks are, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't think it should really roll. Um, Jazz look completely healthy. There's nobody showing on their end. Knicks side, you have Reggie Bullock is probable. Dennis Smith Jr. questionable. Kevin Knox is questionable. And Mitchell Robinson is questionable. So I guess you can keep an eye on that. But I. I do think that the Jazz are actually going to go in there and they're going to take care of business and cover the spread. Um, I agree with what you said with the Knicks. They're just these two teams are built differently. Um, and with Rudy Gobert and some of that interior presence that the Jazz have, I think that can help to offset some of that rebounding capability that New York does have. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so the last three times these two teams ma matched up, Utah has blown them out all three times, including a win back on January 8th, 128 to 104. Give me them jazz to keep it going. I think they're just a better team here. I'll lay the points and not even think twice about it. Agreed. Let us know what you guys think down below. Um, and, of course, if you like more content like this, we will uh, provide it for you. Just give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll certainly move on to the next one. Yeah, guys, join the, <laughs> join the private group. Link's in the description. It's free to join. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember. It's uh hey it doesn't matter you just come join <laughs> what's the damn slogan it's uh we ca we'll cash these sweet sweet, sweet, sweet cash, cash break the yeah. bookies ass god that's damn. it yeah uh, fuck you'll right. get it yeah yeah so they're not paying me to do this so <laughs> all right uh we'll see you on the next video guys where we're gonna be talking about the memphis grizzlies taking on the brooklyn nets we'll see you later see ya